What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and this is a quad feed with every single gun in Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, one exception to the rule is the Strela 3. We decided to not include it because it is a non-lethal launcher that is intended to take down killstreaks. The only way you're going to pull off a quad with that is if you fire at an attack helicopter and it randomly redirects and manages to kill four enemies in a very lucky fashion, or if four enemies just decide to jump in front of you while you shoot it. So, the possibility of you getting a quad with that is near impossible, so... It's left out for this video, so I hope you guys can reason with that, but anyway, we're going to be starting off here with the Assault Rifles. This is a quad feed with every primary and secondary weapon, just like it has been in all the other videos. However, this video itself is going to be very different from the other ones, and I think I'm going to give you guys just a brief history of how this series started and the reason why it's ending up like this. For those who may not know or not remember, this series was started during Modern Warfare 3's prime time, and it continued to Black Ops 2 after that, however, we decided to go back and play the older Call of Duties and try to pull off a quad feed with every gun in the older games. So, it started off in Modern Warfare 3 with just me, and then Black Ops 2, it became a community montage type deal. And then when we went back, we decided to do different things. In Call of Duty 4, it was a dualtage with me and Focus. In World of War, it was a dualtage with me and Focus. And then Modern Warfare 2, it was a tritage with me, Focus, and as you can see here, Smexy. And by the way, this is actually Smexy's favorite game, so he's going to be hitting tons and tons of clips throughout this video. But for Black Ops 1, things are pretty different this time around. This time around, it's a quadtage and a community effort. The people in the quadtage where I'm hitting most of the clips are me, Focus, Smexy, and Mini Merc, also known as MMHD1080P, who is my little brother. He's actually 16 years old, by the way, but uh, this is also a huge thanks to the community of Black Ops 1 players. So, in the description, you're going to see tons of YouTube channel links, and it's going to have the name of the gun that they hit the quad feed with. So, you can check out their YouTube channels and subscribe to them because they are a big part of what made this video possible as well because unlike Modern Warfare 3 and unlike Black Ops 2 and now Call of Duty Ghosts, we went back and played these games when they were not in their prime time. Like this G11 clip right here, this type of clip would only be possible in the prime time of Search and Destroy on Villa because players didn't really know what to do and if five people happen to go up in a building all at the same time, a five-man feed like that is possible. However, once the game is out for a while, players are not going to make stupid decisions like that and get these crazy lineups anymore. So. I think that pretty much sums up how this video was made possible. Basically, the series started off as a challenge that I set for myself, and it's ending up as a compilation that people can reference to so they can always find a quad feed with every gun in a certain Call of Duty game that they might be searching for. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed with how the series has ended up. However, it's gonna be changing back to the way th things should be in Call of Duty Ghosts, because Right now, as it stands, we're more than halfway done with all of the guns in Call of Duty Ghosts. I've hit tons and tons of clips. It's going to be a dual Taj with me and Focus again. We're going to do a commentary because a lot of people like seeing the clips without any editing. However, we're going to do the commentary first, and I'm eventually going to release it at some milestone. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just post it whenever we can get the video done. However, I'm also going to see if I can get Push NV to edit it. He's edited uh, the Black Ops 2 community montage video, and he edited the Modern Warfare 2 one. He does an awesome job with the editing, and you guys should definitely go check out those videos and subscribe to him. He's an incredible editor, and I'm going to see if I can have him edit a video for Call of Duty Ghosts as well. So we're going to put out two different videos for Call of Duty Ghosts, because we're going to have a lot more time this time around. So look forward to the quad feed with every gun in Call of Duty Ghosts as well. And yeah, I look forward to this six-man feed right here by Focus. That's absolutely sick. So, on top of that, uh, I'm going to start talking about how you guys can hit some quad feeds in Call of Duty Ghosts. Because there are some really easy methods you guys can put into practice if you want to go back and play this game and hit quad feeds. Or maybe you would just like to, to know exactly how we managed to pull all of these off. So, two maps you're going to see a lot in this video are Nuketown and Firing Range. And the reason why is because the best maps in Call of Duty are the smallest maps. Because... There's tons of fast-paced action, and there's way more gunfights. You get to those gunfights faster. And in general, the smallest maps in the in the Call of Duty games are the most fun. What, what was going on with that guy, by the way? If you saw me throw that Semtex, you'll notice that guy's head was, like, sticking in the ground. And his, like, legs were sticking up in the air. That was pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, most of these clips you're going to see are just us rushing on Nuketown, pushing spawns, whatever it may be. Spawn trap. Well, we don't really spawn trap too much. However... A lot of players get stuck in their spawns, so they're just coming out of them, like as you can see here on this grid clip. By the way, grid's also a very good map for hitting quad feeds. The spawns are very good. And in general, I gotta say, even though I wasn't that fond of Black Ops 1, I actually, I really started to enjoy it when we went back and played the game, because honestly, it's variety that makes Call of Duty, you know, a little bit more fun. Because if every map was like Nuketown, I'd probably get bored, however... 
It would also be really interesting to see a Call of Duty game with just tons of small maps like Nuketown because it would be very easy to hit clips like this and ultimately the game would actually be way more faster paced than like say Call of Duty Ghosts is right now. So um, now we're moving on to the snipers over here. I actually didn't even know I hit the quad feed when I hit it but I just took a couple shots and then I actually sprayed a little bit more than I needed to because I wasn't sure how many enemies I killed. Now as you can see here, Smexy is getting the split quad headshot feed. Now. I, I just wanted to say this before the ghost video is out because you're gonna see some different kinds of clips Some people consider quad feeds to only be clean quad feeds where you can see all four kills in a row However with Call of Duty Ghosts, we're doing this a little bit differently as you can see I, I think that was either a triple or a quad hit marker right there But anyway, that's the PSG quad feed and that's gonna wrap it up for the snipers But for Call of Duty Ghosts, we're doing things differently in a sense because we're not just doing clean quad feeds where you can see all four kills in a row we're going to do quad feeds where you can see all four kills on screen, even if it's split. Rolling quad feeds this time around, they're not going to count because chances are if it's rolling, it's too slow. The whole point of these clips is, is for us to be killing a ton of players as fast as we can. And we just want the clips to be fast paced and, and enjoyable for you to watch. We don't want you guys watching like slower kinds of quad feeds where it's very hard to pull off the clips. So that's really what our aim is. And as you can see here, Look how awful the quality for those clips looks, and then I hit the CZ75 quad feed and it just looks so good, man. It's so crazy to think how much our technology has improved and how much better clips can look when you record with different devices. Like, this M72 law clip is blurry as hell, however, when you record something with an HD PVR, it looks way crisper and clearer. However, if you have an Elgato and you're recording at the maximum bitrate quality, you can get even better looking clips, which is what some of my newest clips look like in this video. But anyway, we're gonna be finishing things up here with the specials. I managed to hit this Ballistic Knife knifing quad feed in Sticks and Stones a long time ago. This was recorded out of theater, which is why the last little knife animation didn't actually show up. However, that was that. I was also playing with a split screen at the time, so that's pretty much it, guys. This has been a quad feed with every single gun in Call of Duty Black Ops 1. To be honest, I really didn't like Black Ops 1 all that much in its prime time. I, I couldn't deal with the terrible connection and the bad hit detection. But now that Call of Duty Ghost is out, I'm looking back at this and I'm like, wow, I actually kind of miss Black Ops 1, which is weird. I honestly never thought I'd see the day where I would actually enjoy Call of Duty Black Ops, but to be honest, I will miss the game. I also want to make it clear that I do not take credits for the entirety of this video, even though I'm the one editing the video and I'm the one posting it to my channel. This video would not be possible without the help of Focus, Smexy, and the Black Ops 1 community, even my little brother Mini Merc. So, other than that, I feel the need to apologize because this video's standards are nowhere near the standards of the other videos we have done. But look forward to Call of Duty Ghosts and the Quad Feed videos we have planned for that because they're going to be pretty damn good. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, favorite it, or share it, whatever you can do to spread the video around and show it your support. But I will see you guys later.